Hello. How are you today? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I still do not know your name, and I feel bad about it. Um... Oh, what is your name? Hold on. Detroit Become Human. Main menu. Name. Stop taking me to bank. Okay, your name is Chloe. Okay, I don't think I caught that last time. I've moved my microphone further away. Um, actually, let me see if it still does it. It does. Okay, I don't know... Hold on. Okay, I don't know how to change that. The message thing popping up. Uh, let me try something new. Okay, let's try this instead. See if maybe this does better for us. Ugh. Not really. Um, what do you guys like better? Do you like my original setup or do you like being able to see this better? What do you guys think? I don't... No, because now the game's too small. No, I made up my mind. I'm changing it back. Yeah. Okay, so... Unfortunately, that'll just have to keep popping up. I can't... get that to go away. Bad timing. Not at all, Vid. Not at all. Um, I was just trying to figure out my settings to get that to go away, but I can't. I don't seem to be able to. So, we're just gonna... I have no choice but to keep it like this. Anyways, um, I put my microphone further away from me because I found... Oh, Vid! Thank you so much for the raid! I'm so sorry, I didn't even see that. I saw you type in and everything, and I'm just used to you being here on your own. Thank you so much for the raid! Um, but yeah, I wanted to try and figure out how to uh, get rid of that little counter, but I can't figure out how, especially not right now, and I'd rather just jump into the game. So let's continue. But I found out her name is Chloe. <laughs> so, hi Chloe. Hopefully my audio is better this time. The stream seems to be doing much better. Um, I don't know what happened to the YouTube video at first. It was really bad quality. Um, but then I watched it on my TV just to see if the quality stayed the same and then it was okay. So if you guys could give me feedback on the VODs over on YouTube, that would be great to see if it like has really bad video or audio quality because I don't know if it changes on my end or what. First it was and then it wasn't. Yeah, I can't get rid of that counter, or at least I don't think I can. And I don't want to spend forever trying to fix it when we're going. We're running. So, we are back with Connor. I have forgotten. I have not forgotten. <laughs> Just 
Mr. Anderson. I'll try my best to update you. Thanks, I appreciate it. No, that's... Scan faces. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Not... A necessity. Um, why are you dragging my... Hello? Mr. Gray... Ah! You got a DUI on your license. No face. Oh, okay. What about you? Edward Dempsey, no criminal record, that's good. Who are you? I can scan you. Jonah Graham, no criminal record. Drink. Why are you stealing my... Dog. Oh. Man who bumped into me. Domestic abuse! Boy, if you don't... Who are you? Hey, there you are. God, it's so weird seeing... I believe it's Clancy Brown. Like, the actual picture of him there. Because the last movie I've seen him in, which, by the way, in case you didn't know, it feels like the Lord of the Rings fact about Aragorn breaking his toe all over again. But in case you didn't know, just a quick update. He voices Mr. Krabs in SpongeBob SquarePants, but the last movie I, I have seen him in was the 2010 Nightmare on Elm Street. Weren't you also in Shawshank Redemption? Hold on. Weren't you also in the Shawshank Redemption? Or am I remembering that wrong? Oh, no, I was right! He was the captain. That's right, too. Hello. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Hey, Just Connor is a good boy. Get the fuck out of here. Well, he is a good little robot, but still. Um, really doing your background check on him, getting too into character? No, okay. I recognized his face. First off, like I said, I haven't, I saw just recently not even about a month ago the uh 2010 nightmare on elm street which by the way is better than you guys give it credit um <laughs> jackie earl haley who plays um ruben victoriano also known as rubik in the evil within plays freddy and you can say whatever you want. I think you did a great job. I think you guys are just way too stuck to... I'm so bad at names. Um, <laughs> the original Freddy Krueger. Oh my god, he voices Scarecrow in Injustice 2 as well. God... Robert England. Anyways. You guys are too stuck to Robert England. To even give Jack Earl Haley a fair chance, and I didn't appreciate it because it was not that bad. It was actually a pretty good take on a remake of Freddy Krueger. There were a lot of things they couldn't say back in the 80s or the 70s, whichever one that came out. I can't remember. That general era of slashers. Anyways, I'm going on about the wrong goddamn topic. Point being, I've seen that movie recently, I recognized his face. I remember watching the Shawshank Redemption, my dad going, oh, by the way, that guy Clancy Brown that plays Mr. Krabs is in this too. So, shush. 
No, nah, that's not her getting into character. That's just something she does. It is something I do. Like I said, I even dragged Jackie Earl Haley into this. <laughs> My point still stands. Connor 2.0. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just autistic. Uh. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Uh, hold on. Okay, so I was too busy talking to read the options of first. Reason, threaten, understanding, or persist. <sighs> okay, uh... Let's persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> Don't. No. Connor. Wait. No. Connor. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna try and stop doing this. Just at the beginning of the of the stream, I will pause to read my my thing. I'm going to attempt to adapt to it, and stop pausing to kind of cheat. I was thinking about it further. He's just a sweet boy. He is. He is very sweet. I'm not gonna. We're not going on the brink of infantilizing, but he is sweet. Connor is. Yeah. He's cute. Um. I want to know what happens if we threaten him, but I also don't want to know if we threaten him. <laughs> Let's go for understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Hey. Oh no. Okay. You know what? No. Nice Connor's gone. You've insulted him too many times, and you're being rude. Give me that. I think we can go now. <laughs> I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. The fact that Android probably duty, can't get knocked out. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. Oh! Your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Get him, Connor. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. No, that's just the person behind the controller. No. Duty calls. We're gonna fix his jacket. Jerk. Too far. I get he's sweet, but you're taking advantage of it. Insulting him for no reason. I like his choice of music. Fuck yeah, look at him go. You wait here. Don't take advantage of people's niceness. Ah. Um, he's just a silly little guy. He is. Ah, uh, I mean, we're a, we're an officer too. I can't tell. I I don't know enough about his character enough already. Um, to know if being firm is going to gain us respect with them, or being diplomatic. I feel like he's a guy that might respect a firm approach, considering he's a little bit of a hard ass. So we'll see how that no plays way. out. I'm coming with you. Uh, Listen, <laughs> you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. You're doing the same thing to me. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Hmm. Too bad, buddy. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. I'm an officer too. This is a homicide. I'm not confirming anything. Just because I'm an android and you're not, doesn't mean I'm still not an officer. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Bitch, it's you're with it. Me. It. How dare you? You're. I'm so conflicted. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Uh, Evening, Hank. I can't promise that. You're starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. There we go. 
Ah. Steering. Uh, Jesus, that smell. Uh, Even Connor. We open the windows. <laughs> there you go. The this way. Name's Carlos Ortiz. Hold on. I like the way his jacket glows. I also like the way his jacket glows. For theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Oh. Red ice. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Oh, okay, it's a drug. He's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Could have waited oh. till morning. <laughs> I'd say he's been there for a good few weeks. What? No, weeks. huh? What? I'll know more from the car. No, do the. Here. What? There's a kitchen knife. Over Connor, here. no. Oh. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? I'm nope. doing this before the Hank gets us in trouble for things we weren't supposed to. Because he said not to touch up. anything. I'm doing it while he's busy. Killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his hand? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Ooh, I'm trying not to run into people. Ah. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside of you. Now. Okay. Connor, buddy, that's not sanitary. He's an android. It's fine. Ah. Sorry about the camera. I'm trying to do the thing, but it's the same joystick as the camera. Ah! I have been playing too much survival horror because him looking into the window scared me. <laughs> we just got out of Resi Zero. <laughs> so I'm still a little jumpy. Oh god. Okay. Four to ten. See? Counter! Good! You gave me a counter! Finally! Can I not do anything with this? No? We, we can't review the dead guy. Okay, we'll let Hank cover that. Jump scare. <laughs> Scanning every. Perfect. Huh? Too neat. No human oh, I'm back at the door. Oh. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Hold on. Wasn't there a way over this way? I thought that's where I was going. Red ice. Seems yeah, I already found that. Party. Hank, let me through. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Let me. <laughs> Stop blocking me. Oh, now we can. Hold on. Cyro life sand. <laughs> this guy's gonna get himself caught based off his font he picked. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. Okay. Twenty eight. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else to analyze? Ah. Uh. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. That's neat. Twenty-eight. Stab. Yeah, that's. Twenty-eight times. That's a lot. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Out of the way. Kitchen. Which I think is what I'm going into. Yes. Okay, so there's a... 
Oh, fingertips. Okay. I was gonna say. Ah, struggle. See? That's what I was gonna say. No, I don't watch too many detective shows. I genuinely don't. My mom does. <laughs> and then I hear it from her. Okay, so he picked up the bat. Ethereum. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we're assuming this is an android because Deviant took a knife. Isn't that what they call the androids that have, like, quote unquote, gone crazy? It's attacked. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is self defense. Report what? Is that all my. No. -uh. Okay then. Dude was nasty. Got it. Why are you still saying this is a thing? Hold on. It's still saying this is a thing. Yeah, articles. Oh. Nope, down. I see. Actually, hold on, let me genuinely read that. More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. Ah, oh, wow. It's almost like that's a thing nowadays. Isn't that crazy? The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to CyberLife only deepens such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. Yeah, wow, it's almost like that's a thing that corporations are doing now. Hmm. Okay. Nine out of ten. Is this tenth? I'd assume it's got the lock on it. Um don't understand. Oh, there we go. Oh. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Hmm. Didn't escape so there was a window we saw earlier, wasn't there? Okay, I have control of Connor again. But what now? Oh something I'm missing? I don't understand. Yeah, there's a window, but it's not letting me, like, scan it. Let me change my camera angle so I can actually see. Because right now, I can't see anything. You had a better angle for me before. There we go. Stop shining the light in here! Jeez! My eyes! I don't understand what I'm supposed to look at here. What? Something's supposed to scare me? I don't know. Shining the damn light in my eyes, I can't see much. Um. 
I already found this. What do you keep bugging me about this for? You have a lock on it or something. Why? Yeah, 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 we know. Got that. That's just weird. I know, I already got that. It's saying 9 out of 10 and it's pissing me off. Where is the 10? Wait a minute. Why does this look like new? Whoa. What does it say? R A G not? I don't know. Oh. What the? Weird. Okay, there's our evidence. But, okay, so the android didn't leave. Hey, Connor. I, I can't interact with this door? Okay. So, if no one's been out there for a while, that means the android didn't leave. Keeps on bringing me to this, but I don't know why. Okay, at least now the light is in my freaking eyes. I don't know what it wants me to look at, though. Is it trying to imply that it escaped out the window? I don't know, it's not making it very obvious. If that is its intent. Wrong way. I am not being the best android, I'm being quite the klutz, actually. Report to Lieutenant, An Lieutenant Anderson. Okay, so we're supposed to talk to you. Now that we have everything. That's... Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Ow. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started. Ah, wait, hold on. Okay, so yeah, we found something. In the bathroom, but in reality, I think it started in the kitchen. Okay, hi. Hopefully I'm back. Is my audio all good still? Yeah, my headphones have like fucking three, four feet of cord. And they got stuck underneath my damn table. And then they just pulled out when I cut out there. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to lean back and my head's getting pulled forward. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> okay. Anyways. Duh. Text frustrating sometimes. Okay, it started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. It's like a game of Clue. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Ah, uh, hold on. 
The chair didn't look thrown. It looked knocked over. And there was his fingerprints on it. But... Damn it. Okay, there was his fingerprints on it, but it doesn't say he threw the chair. No, wait, it wasn't his... Was it his fingerprints? Fuck, this is an awful game to play when you have bad memory. <laughs> I can't remember all those little pieces of evidence like that. You guys help me out here. Um, was it the guy's fingerprints? Or was there something... I know there was something on the chair. I can't remember if it was his fingerprints or what. The victim hit the android. Oh, right! We were talking about how it was self-defense. See? Th uh, thank you, Vid. I, like I said, I, I have a little bit of bad memory. It's bringing up the chair. So I'm like, oh, yeah, we did see something on the chair. So now my brain just focuses immediately on that. But then it's like, wait, I can't remember the detail with the chair. No, okay. So android, android stabbed him. Stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Then it would be the living room. The living room? Yeah, okay, it was his finger. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Vid. I tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Vid. Genuinely, I'd no I wouldn't uh I would have focused totally on the chair. Okay. So we gotta keep doing this. Ba -ba -ba. And then it goes to here goes here. Glad to be of service. I am glad that you helped me with that. <laughs> Remembered? I know that makes no sense. Ah! Oh, you're up there! Oh, Connor's stressed like the little yellow. Find something to climb. There's a joke to be had there. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. But there is a joke to be had there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's suddenly highlighted. Ugh, Connor, come on. Love you, buddy, but you're a little bit clunky. Find something to climb. Ah, uh, he, he doing a concern. He is doing a concern. Can I go in here now? No. Chair. Give me the chair. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with that chair? You have to get the climb. I'm, check I'm, I'm doing a thing, Hank. Check something. Yes, I'm doing a thing. That's something to climb. I think a toddler trying to get the cookie jar off of <laughs> the top of the fridge. Careful. 
This reminds me of that scene out of Aliens. Oh, hell no! <laughs> this reminds me of that scene out of Aliens! Oh, great. We're not playing until dawn just yet! Oh, you gotta make it creepy. Oh, had I know it would be a mannequin. Connor, be careful, he probably still has that knife. Okay. We're not gonna talk about that? We're not gonna discuss that? Guess not. Connor. Be careful, Connor. He doesn't, we found it earlier. Oh, oh yeah! Whoa! Hi there. I was just defending myself. I know. You're just gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Ah! Uh, what the fuck is going on up there? Uh, um. It's here, Lieutenant. Cut! Hey, it. Oh shit, Chris, Ben. Get your asses in here now! I didn't even get the choice on that? Come on! I didn't even get the choice on that! I wanted to think... And see if... Whoa! Whoa, hold up, wait, what? No, there was something there! Oh, it led, like, to a whole other... Oh, I'm assuming we could have screwed that up and, like, just not found him. Oh, wait, it looks like those lead to the same one. Is there an ending where we just don't find that guy? Wait, Connor knows what happened. What's here, then? Because then here, if we reconstruct the crime but we do it wrong... Leads down here. There's got to be an ending where you just don't find that guy. Oh, but I'm upset we missed something over here. Ah! Oh well. Alright, let's continue on then. Oh! Back to Kara. I for Alice. Right. I was going to say I forgot her name. Alice. Todd. Ugh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Ooh, spaghetti. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Spaghetti. Turn on Turn the light. On the lights. Where are they? Oh, shit. I was on my way to do that, jerk. Where the? Where is? Oh. I did. Oh. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Oh boy. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Yeah, that's not my fault. That's yours. What a joke. You bought me. Not my fault. Androids are so fucking wonderful. 
Not my fault you can't take care of anything. They never fail. They never tired. They were sad. Oh, you make me sad all the time. Don't worry. Perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What's your fucking problem? Dude, she's got nowhere else to look. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Dude, I'm about to knock Maybe your ass you out. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My Stop projecting fault on the kid. Mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. I don't blame her, but why she left fucking the kid behind? Down on me for a fucking account, it's all your fault. Daddy knows what? It's all your fucking fault! <gasps> Get back here. Don't you fucking dare. Come back here? Come back here right now! Oh yeah, right. Oh, you want to fucking bet? Don't move. Bitch. Moving. You jackass moving. Let's go. Fuck this. Taking the kid and getting her the hell away from you. So many things like androids and whatnot, and they still haven't come to get the kid. Hell yeah! Reason with Todd. There's no reasoning with people like that. Alice. Oh, yeah, right. Not with drugs and an attitude like that. Fuck you, dude. We're getting her out of here. Lock the door. Lock the door. Nope. Fine. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! No, he's not. Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Lock the room. Lock it. Lock it. You're not touching her ever again. We found a way down last time. Window. Hello? What button is left? There we go. Fuck sakes, give me the damn thing. Let's go. Trust me. Trust me. Three points of contact. Let's go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fine. We got her. It's fine. Let's go. Oh my god, wait, what? Okay. That was giving like a quick time event to not get hit by the bus or something. Nope, we're out. Fuck you. You're never touching her again. You guys know me, I'm not normally a big fan of kids, but I will protect her with my life! Nope! My Alice! Fuck you, Todd! Fuck you, Todd Howard! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! What? I <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I love how it's just like a straight shot. 
to just getting out of there with Alice. There's no like little branching off and then coming back around. It's just straight shot. <laughs> Love that. Anything for Alice? Sacrifice your life and soul. Ah, not going that far. I'll I'll, I'll gamble with Kara's. <laughs> Sounds awful. <gasps> ah! That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Mm. I hate cocktail parties. Mm -hmm. All the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Come with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Out there. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. These two are my favorite. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> I like how like involved all the controls are. Did you are. leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Huh? No. Usually you wait for the police to... to do that. No. We're not checking out anything. No. As your android that is responsible for your safety, we are waiting until the police get here. That's not an option, is it? I can't wait this out, can I? Uh, I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen. I don't want anything get bad to happen to these two. They're like my favorite. They're my favorite duo. I love the way that Carl treats Bart Kiss. I have a bad feeling about it. I don't like it. I'm not able to wait this out, am I? You stand around for long enough, I'm sure something will happen. All right, we're changing the category to just chatting. How was your guys' day? <laughs> How's it going? Yesterday we had a lot of rain, like thunder and lightning. It was so bad. It looked like freaking Raiden from Mortal Kombat was having a fight with someone. <laughs> it's been great. How about you? I've been doing good. We, were, I finally had a, I finally went on a trip to uh, Costco and didn't have a panic attack because there actually wasn't a lot of people there. I'm doing pretty good. I got two, uh, two shinies yesterday. I got it, um, shiny party hat Pikachu and a shiny Taylo. Speaking of shinies, uh, for the Discord exclusive video, I have gotten two. We got, well, basically, uh, I had people in the Discord pick a color, and, yeah, I had people in the Discord pick a color, and whatever color they picked, I would, well, I am, getting a shiny Pokemon through chain fishing of that color. So far, I've gotten a Magikarp, and ah, uh, and a Remoraid that Mira named Remy because Mira picked purple. So I really gotta get back into Pokemon Go, but my storage, oh I know, and try to get the Pokecoins for 200 for one little bit of 50 Pokemon storage, I know. <laughs> I just- I recently just had to buy storage, actually. No, I don't want to! Something bad's gonna happen! No! Wait, back to the scotch! Here, have your drink! I put it in everything! Both storage in-game and my phone storage? Really? I've never heard about a- not that it did, you know, anything like that, but just really, the phone storage, eh? 
I've had issues with phone storage in the past. I don't want to do this. I really don't. <laughs> Can't tell I'm procrastinating. Um, yeah, I've had issues with uh, phone storage before. I do... I do like everything on my phone. Yeah, I was that way before too. I, you should see the amount of photos I have on my new phone. It's a Samsung. It's actually pretty good. Um, I like it a lot. But yeah, I have music downloaded. I have so many photos. I'm actually recording the video. <laughs> I am actually recording the video for the Pokemon video that's Discord exclusive on my phone. I have it angled in the bottom right corner on the table there. It's getting the DS and the, um, the laptop for the counters. The encounter counter. Vid, though, do you want to, uh, pick a color? Have me look for one, though. I think I had a list of colors that I had available because, like, there's, there's a certain amount of colors that are available for chain fishing that don't repeat. So, the ones that are left are, um, pink, green, neon green, orange, and mauve, if you would like to pick a color. Give me the list. Alright, I'll, I'll type it in chat, just to... Because I know someone's saying it, sometimes it kind of comes and goes in your memory. Green? Never mind that. Alright, green it is. Okay, let me write that down. Vid is picking green. So yeah, if you would like to join the Discord and get some of those uh, Discord exclusive challenges, videos, and that sort of stuff, the link is in the about of both the Twitch channel and the YouTube channel. Okay, fine. We have to do this. <laughs> I have a feeling something's bad going to happen. I don't want it to. Dang it. Uh-oh. Leo! Oh, it's his fucking son. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. What? It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Wow. Get away from there. Get him out of here. Uh. Uh. Let's warn him. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get Leave him out alone! Right now. What makes what? it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! No. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Okay. Don't do anything. I'm not willing to listen to the top, but I'm willing to see you. What you waiting for? No. Think you're a man? Act like one. No. I know it's not fair. Too much of a pussy. I know it's not fair. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. You. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. This time it's okay. I won't listen to Todd. But I'll listen to Carl. No, you're forcing me. I don't like this. You're talking about freedom and everything, and yet you're forcing me to make a move? No! What if I don't want to fight back? What if I want to wait for the police to come? And handle this? What if I don't want to end up like the other deviants that we just arrested with Connor? Why do I have to deviate in a good scenario versus the bad ones? I know it's not fair. But it'll be fair in a little bit. He gets arrested for assault. Marcus stays with Carl. No! Anyone else would be just fine, but I want to listen to Carl. Me too! Okay. No! No! I don't want to! I don't want to defend myself. I want to wait till the police get here. Oh, we have no choice. No! Marcus! Stop it! 
Okay, no, but genuinely, within the theme of the game, this is kind of BS that you can't actually pick to not defend yourself. And just wait for the police. This is kind of BS. This is literally a forced narrative. And I don't like it, but unfortunately I don't have any other choice. Because this game, in moments, with always trying to tell its story, is also breaking the rules of its own story, and being absolute BS! God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, no leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna Enjoy it. Apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. It's okay, Marcus. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> oh! Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was a fragile machine. No! Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Oh, my God, this is going. No! Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. <gasps> no. Please. <laughs> This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Oh, you son of a bitch. The android. Who's the android? <gasps> you motherfucker! What?! No! about to fucking cry what the hell no I'm not okay <laughs> I'm actually not okay <laughs> Bullshit, we did do everything right. I'm actually fucking crying. <laughs> oh my god, no. I'm so upset right now in so many different ways. <laughs> Okay at all. <laughs> what the fuck? So you're telling me as Connor, as an actual police android, we deal with deviants that have actually murdered people. And I know we got the first one, Daniel, like, that wasn't our fault, that was the fucking snipers and everything. For some goddamn reason. But, like, it it hasn't shown what we did with the second one, we didn't kill him. I don't think, so far, it doesn't seem like it. Pretty sure if that's what happened, they would have shown it. Like, it seemed like we just got that one arrested. They just shoot Marcus for no reason? Just because that asshole- like, dude, come on, you gotta figure, a guy like that has cameras, like, everywhere, his whole house- his house greets him! His whole house is automated, pretty much! There was evidence upon evidence of that!
they just believe him right off the bat? He did it. Okay. Fuck off. That's not how that works. I'm gonna continue over time like we did yesterday. I'm gonna go over time because we're not leaving it on that. That was so fucking upsetting. We're actually fucking crying. <laughs> we're not leaving on that. Look, we arrested the other one. What happened before you took that knife? Why'd they just shoot Marcus? I knew something bad was gonna happen. How long were you in the attic? God damn it. Was two of my favorite. Why did you even try to run away? Sensing white privilege. This android isn't even white. Say something. Oh, God you mean it. the fucking sun. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. I get what you're saying, but like, what the fuck? We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? Oh, hi, Neil. <laughs> I could try questioning it. <laughs> hi, Neil Mubon. I can hear that voice from a mile away. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Hi, Neil. Oh, now you're putting me in another stretch. You're putting me in another stressful situation? This dude can self destruct if he's putting under too much stress? Great. Yeah, everyone say hi, Neil. <laughs> also, I don't know if the audio is cutting for you, but I think my headphones are officially, like, dying, dying. Because it's gone from playing in just one ear to now, like, neither. Like, I can hear currently, but if I don't, like, adjust it around, it just cuts out. <laughs> Sorry. self destruct under too much stress sounds like a lot like me. Same. Let's analyze them. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I was making Marcus endure for the singular scenario. He's been enduring the entire time. Okay. <sighs> you were afraid. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Oh, we had an option to tell him his name. Our name. Shit, I forgot. I didn't see that. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Okay. It's okay. Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. It's okay. Too low. There's such thing as too low. All I want is to get you out of here. 
What do you mean too low? Okay, fine. Let's go for a if probe. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Uh... I mean, his stress was too low before. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I literally didn't have a choice. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Okay, we don't want to overdo it. Talk to me. I... I can't. What the hell you can? Choose approach. We can stress him a little bit more. Let's add a little bit of pressure. 28 stab wounds. Oh god, there's the you meme. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. Okay, that seemed All like right. in the Everything is going to be okay. No! What the hell? Ah. <sighs> Let's try for the probe. You leave me no choice. A little bit of stress. I can't hold all these at the same time. I didn't want to do too much. We seem like we we're in the right spot. Uh oh. I accessed its memory. I know what happened. Okay, I didn't think it would jump that much. Great. What the fuck is it doing? destroying itself? Be great. Stop, God damn it. Like, seriously. I, Connor? I, I can't. I, I can't stop it. Connor. That's enough. You need to stop that right now. <laughs> Watch out! What the Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, now I'm just pissed off with this game. It'd be great if you told me what the fuck it would do. So I play a goddamn guessing game. Even if it was just a goddamn percentage. Great, now I got Connor killed. Too low of stress. Like, that's a fucking thing. Now I'm just pissed off. There's no good way to fucking end this now. Like, seriously, what the fuck? Even if it just gave a percentage, I don't care if it's up or down. Just something. Instead of playing a goddamn guessing game, what do you think? I am a fucking police officer? No. Too low of stress. Aren't people more likely to confess when they trust the person they're talking to? That's twice now with the message that you're trying to convey that you've bullshitted. So now that's two strikes on the game of the message that it's trying to convey. Be sympathetic to them. Let's help the deviants. Everything like that. Too low stress. What? This isn't a person. It's an android. It's programmed to act like a person and to think like one. That's the whole point of them, isn't it? 
the only real distinction is the way that they're pro like is the way that they're built wasn't that Marcus's entire thing was just the programming was meant to be like come on you're trying to convey a message but you're fucking up on what can actually count as the message and actions So we feel like, like we're happy that Kara deviated because she got out of a bad situation. Now we're trying not to have Marcus deviate, but now you're forcing us to have him deviate so that way it ends up in a bad situation. Now when we actually have a deviant that was in Marcus's position that we're trying to feel sympathy for after we just came back from Marcus's chapter, and we're trying to be kind to him and understanding, now it's not enough strength. What?! Now we have to apply stress and be fucking mean. Even though, whether it's programming or not, humans and everything that is programmed to be like them, they're more comfortable admitting and confessing and talking to a person that they're more comfortable with that they don't feel afraid of. But we're supposed to add pressure, but not too much. What's your message? Make up your mind. Feel bad for the deviants, don't feel bad for the deviants, work with them, don't work with them. Which one is it? I try to make a decision and you say no, you have to make this decision, you only have one way to go. If you're going to make a message, at least don't make it conflicting. If you can have Connor get shot, why can't we have Marcus get roughed up a little bit and choose not to deviate or wait till the police come? Like, you literally just went two different narratives on this same exact theme. We just came from Marcus, who was deviating to try and defend himself. And then, like, even Kara. I know we didn't hit him, or I know we probably had an option to hit him or whatever. But we just came back from Kara and Marcus, back to back, of choosing to deviate to save someone. And then choosing not, well, what I was hoping to choose not to deviate, well, we didn't actually. But still, choosing not to deviate to save someone. And then now you go straight from Marcus over to here with pretty much the exact, what could have been Marcus's scenario and the exact same sort of thing. And we try to feel, you know, to, as a human, sympathy and empathy and, you know, it's okay. Like you saw my approach right at the beginning because we just came back from Marcus. The message that they were trying to tell along with Kara. And now we have to add stress. But then we go to add stress and then it'd be like, come on. Pick a lane of what you're trying to tell in the story. Pick which side we're going on. Are we being sympathetic? Are we not being sympathetic? Like, you have so, look at this, so many choices. But somehow, there's one route to take in reality, which was pressuring. So we either, what, gave up? Which, we can't do that. We need a confession. Like I said, in that scenario, it would have been great to have at least a... I don't care if it... And you don't need to tell me exactly. Oh, this option's going to do this for a stress. Just tell me a percentage. I don't need you to tell me whether it's up or down. I don't know what's going to be more stressful to this thing or what's going to be less stressful. I'm trying to be sympathetic. Now you're saying I'm not adding enough stress. Why do I need to add stress when he just came back from an ex extremely upsetting scenario that was Marcus's? The last thing we want to do is add stress. Yeah, we're just going to jump into the cop scenario right here and just, ah, fucking confess, dude. Like, no. We're immediately going to see Marcus in this, in this deviant. And I go, okay, hey, it's okay. Like, we understand the scenario. We just came from two of those exact scenarios that led to this deviant scenario. And now you want us to be fucking mean and rough him up and just, ah, yeah, let's scare him. That's not realistic. And like I said, coming back around to the whole androids are programmed to be like humans, people are more likely to confess and talk to someone that they trust. That's literally a cop's, like, not handbook, but you know what I mean. When they try to get a confession, they start off the, the whole joke of the good cop, bad cop. 
is they send in the good cop first to try and get the initial confession out of someone because they go, okay, I'm not going to get in trouble, you know, or I might get a lightened sentence if I can, if I confess to this or I write out the other people that were with me, you know, and they, they're, they're more likely to tell the truth because now they feel like they're not going to get in trouble or that the cop's actually on their side. That's how it works. That's literally how they're supposed to play that is coming in and not immediately like they assess the scenario and everything but when you have someone passive like that that was scared and it's a supposed self-defense the first thing you want to do is get them to trust you so now it's not adding enough stress and doing that one thing that we had no other choice with was just oh too much okay and when I meant for Connor to intervene I meant using an android strength to hold back the other android, not- Hey, stop that! That's not what intervene means. That's just yelling at him. That's not intervening. I wanted Connor to physically go and stop him from doing that because both androids have that strength. If the normal, like, human cop can't stop him, the android that is specifically designed, that are, apparently they have like super strength and stuff, is specifically designed to stop deviants and whatnot, to, you know, stop him? Not just go, hey, stop that. That's not gonna do anything. Ugh, anyways, sorry. That was uh, twice now, bullshit. Not liking the direction this is going. It's only episode two, we're not nowhere near even probably half the game. Hell no, but like, what the... I, I'm upset about this now. I'm gonna see where it takes us. Ugh! That was not the correct way to handle that scenario, as in the game. Hoping for better with Kara. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm, I don't care. I'm going to attempt to end this on a good note, because what the fuck? Pick a narrative! Pick a fucking message and a way to go about it. That scenario was not that complex. All right. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Ah. Come on. Also, is the audio cutting for you guys, or is it just in my headphones? Because I think these ones are officially going. Stop it. Oh, audio seems good for me? Okay, good. Because it's cutting for me. I think these headphones are officially going, where, like, it's not even... Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? Just me? Okay. I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. I'd rather have it just on my end than have it interrupting you guys. I don't care if I gotta play the rest of this with no audio at all. <laughs> but it looks like it's a new set of headphones for me. Okay, got it fixed. Gonna be okay. You gotta do that thing where you like twist them around. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Okay. Kara and Alice, it's okay. Oh, I feel bad. We didn't even get time to bring her jacket. Oh, it's pouring rain. Okay. Come Hold on. on. We've got to hurry. It's okay. I got you. It's okay. Ah. Uh, Okay, there's... Motel. What's that? How much about safe? Not discreet, we'll need money. Open 24-7, can't stay. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Closed. Yeah, I'm trying to see the one down here. Can't sleep here, but maybe you can ask for help. No. 
Let's go. Okay, it's stopping. Come on. Alice. 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 Come here. Can I go through here? Is it gonna stop me? What? Are you st Ugh. Alice! Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Okay. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. See, my brain goes two ways. One, I'm assuming it's some sort of like coolant or something that acts as their blood, which leads to the possibility of Kara actually being cold. But at the same time, like even just feeling my laptop in front of me, it's been running for a little bit, so it's hot. I just I don't know how they work because I'm trying to figure out how maybe Kara can help her. Ben and Car. Uh, that doesn't. No, I don't want to drag her. I'm just. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's try the other one. Ever kids look both ways before crossing the street. I don't. No, that motel's not gonna work. Not at all. If Todd didn't have groceries, then Kara definitely doesn't have enough for- Wait. No, that's another of those no android signs. Shoot. No androids. There's nothing more this way. What do you mean? You said there was a thing we could- What do you mean? You said there was a thing we could- Is it across the other way? It said like uncomfortable but safe. It was it was it another chain link fence or something? Was it a house? Yeah, where is it? Oh, I think it was around the corner here. Right? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Wire cutter. Do we need a wire? I mean... is a lot of things. <laughs> Aren't the androids like really strong? Dang it. Come on, let's go back. Okay, wire cutter, wire cutter, wire cutter. That's our new mission. Wire cutter. Drugstore's closed. Find wire cutter. House is the best option. Hmm. I don't Look, know where we're. The store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Hold on. Hi. What do you want? You have wire cutters? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? 
Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. No. 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 Come on. That's not gonna help us either. Cause the the motel is no androids as well. Don't they have is that only a Marcus thing where they had like access to like their quote unquote owner's bank account? Ah, oh, we just need wire cutters. Hmm. No. She need wire cutters. Can anyone give me like a hint or something? I don't want to be like well over time. <laughs> no, but they are trying to hide from Todd. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Shit. I mean, this doesn't... None of these... We just need the wire cutters! Damn it! Ugh, hold on. How would these wire cutters be? I'm trying to see anywhere that might have wire cutters. Like, that's such a random fucking thing. You would have figured with how strong the androids are, she could have just rip the damn fence. Like, seriously. I don't know, maybe the laundromat can do something for us. I don't know, that's not the door, apparently. Oh, it's one of these. Like, okay, what's this gonna do for us? Why is this even an option? It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Okay. Don't make this my permanent goddamn option. Change of co oh. Yeah, she needs dry clothes. What are you doing? They're not her clothes. Trish! We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. Trish! We can't do that. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. There are necessities in life, and right now, saving yours is mine. Going to get hypothermia and freeze. We don't do this. That's a bit far, Kara. Hello. Why wouldn't it let me do it? I am. Sometimes it does it, and sometimes it doesn't. Call it, this is a bit far.
No, what? Stop that. Stop it! Jeez. Okay. Good. Change your clothes. Warm. Jacket. Wait, what's that? Did we scan that already? I don't know, it's leading me over here, but it won't tell me what it is anymore. It's kind of pissing me off. Okay. I don't think that's gonna help. God... Why do we need wire cutters, though? I still think she could manage it just fine. Where the hell are we even supposed to find these things? Wire cutters? That's so ri- Wire cutters from the shop. Which one? Uh, this one? Oh. Okay, fine. Very stolen clothes. It's not. Oh, I keep forgetting what L one is. Stop it. I know. Okay, fine. Come on, Alice. We've stolen more than one thing. Thank you, Mira. It's like I genuinely don't want to be like two hours tops over this. I just I want to. I just want to finish on a good note. <laughs> a somewhat good note, better than what we. D what the hell just happened with Connor and Marcus? I don't even know if we have Connor anymore. Did I just get him fucking killed? I don't know how these things work. Buttons are one again. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Come on. Come on. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Okay, let me move. Find a way in, okay. Keep trying to turn my camera. Doesn't work that way though. Sorry, Alice. So why is she distant, man? I'm trying to save your life. No, nope, that's a bad angle. Hello? Okay, so maybe the androids don't have super strength. I don't know, one minute they're like these big powerful things that can kill someone easily and then the next we can't even pull a fence or a board. God! Alice? Oh Alice? my god. Kid, you're joking, right? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. No. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's a kid. Just a little girl, she's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Yes, she is. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Look, 
I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Uh oh. We're not gonna do that to you. You okay. have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on! Come! Come, come on! This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time oh, to time. Oh, sorry. You know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> Make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He'd like to stay with you, but he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. I mean, realistically, do you want to go back Sit to down Todd? I wouldn't. We're putting those there, why? Okay. Okay, Ralph's in there. Uh, okay, wood matches. You technically don't need matches specifically, you just need things that'll cause friction and start a fire. Okay. Let's just hope that Android hasn't actually murdered anybody. It looks like there's wood here. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Nope, uh, that doesn't help me. Great. Okay. Uh, right? A whole lot of nothing. I guess they might be in there with Ralph. It's like, if you're wondering why I'm not as concerned as some people might think I should be, maybe it's because he actually has just cause to, uh, you know, be afraid considering Uh, hey, buddy. Ralph? Oh. RA9. Oh. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Man's traumatized, he's doing what he can. Exactly. Besides, he is being nice. He's a little bit crazy, but he's being nice. We have liked crazier characters. 
it's not giving me anything. Like, not a singular damn thing. It's not giving me one interaction. It's not giving me any... I swear to God, if I had to just put that down... You gave me this entire list. Do not tell me that is all I had to do. Okay, are you fucking with me? She didn't even have them in her hand while we were walking. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we only had one slot of inventory. You didn't exactly make that very apparent. There was wood over here. There's literal planks. It's not fucking Minecraft. I don't need to break down a goddamn tree. There's this thing called kindling. It's little pieces of wood that help start a big fire. There are little pieces of wood right here. I can't skip a step. That's not how it's letting me do anything anyways. There is a hand. That I'm not I'm not crazy, right? That's that's a hand. I'm I'm not just becoming a fucking I'm not, I'm not hallucinating, should am I? Yeah? Yeah, I'm hallucinating shitter. Yeah, that's a hand. <laughs> Where is this wood? God, see every time that- What the- What? Huh? We needed a- <sighs> You're giving me like seven different things at once, man. Yeah, that looks like a hand. Okay, good. Not just me. Where the hell is this wood? Oh, are you fucking with me? There were so many other planks on the- Hey look, we found the wood. We have everything we need to make a fire. Fine. Let's try, bitch. <laughs> you can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. But you're just a little bit ungrateful. Why didn't he ever love me? Oh, Why honey. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Oh, honey, that's not something I can answer, and that's not your fault. Maybe I did something wrong. No. No, no, no. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No. Do that's not start. Why he was always so angry. No, honey, no. Do not start that self talk. Just to be a family. I know. No, it's I never your fault. Me. Every kid deserves a parent, but not every parent Why deserves a kid. I'm sorry, honey. That's not something I can answer. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Never. I'll never go. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Yes. Forever. I can promise that because these two are getting out of here. They're getting out okay. Oh, 
I couldn't save Marcus and Connor. These, t I mean it. I will restart the entire fucking game if I have to. I have a pretty good damn feeling that Carl and Marcus were unavoidable. Yes, give her a kiss. But I don't care if I have to restart the entire goddamn game. These two are being okay. Lie down with her. Girl needs some comfort. My mom always made me feel better when she laid down with me. Okay, that's a much better note to end on. Much better note. Nope. 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 <laughs> I continue on that. I'm leaving it here. We finally found a good note to end on. I'm not risking. <laughs> I'm not risking losing it. Manufactured me is conducting a user survey. Okay. Would you like to participate? Um. Yeah, I have words for you. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? What? We're starting off with that. Okay, we're going right into that question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ma'am, I'm ace. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't know. Depends on the android. <laughs> Gotta think long and hard. <laughs> Thinking the opposite of that, thanks. Uh, okay. <laughs> That was not the question I was expecting right out of the gate. I thought it was like, how are you liking the game so far? <laughs> or like, are you enjoying your experience? Not, hey, would you fuck with it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because, <laughs> like, let's be real. Uh... Connor is adorable. Um, a little bit too adorable, though. Uh, Marcus is nice, but he seems not all there. You know, a little bit out to lunch. Kind of, you know, for an android, expected to be, you know, robotic. Um, personally, Car is not my type. Uh... <laughs> But like, I'm putting don't know both because of my own alignment, but also, um... Does anyone here know Nick Valentine from Fallout 4? Whether your answer is yes or no, either way, I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> just Nick Valentine. Yes. So, like, does it fully have to look human? <laughs> you know, Defined looks like a... Do you mean humanoid? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Yes. If you had to live on a deserted island and oh, could no. only bring one object, what would it be? <laughs> this is where we're going! A console! <laughs> Uh, cell phone isn't guaranteed to have reception. Pen and paper is nice, but I can't draw, nor do I really have the urge to. Uh, my guitar has been sitting <laughs> on the rack for so long. Uh, you know what I do frequent, though? <laughs> do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Ouch. 
what I'm talking about. What technology do you most anticipate? I'd say book. Okay. Ah, yeah, not that one. Fuck yourself, Musk. Anyways, uh, you know what? Like, the whole game is themed on this, and I genuinely don't have a problem with the idea of these. I didn't particularly have- like, the way that they used synths in Fallout 4 is the negative aspect. But, like, if we're talking, like, Detroit Become Human Androids, uh, flying cars- so, airplanes. <laughs> so, you you it- it's just airplanes, there's- it- no matter which way you look at it, it's it's just a, it's just a different looking airplane. <laughs> I don't care if they just hover over the water, so can biplanes. I don't care if you're talking about like flying from one country to another, so can airplanes. That's just airplanes. It's just a, a it's just a private jet. <laughs> I don't care if they're hovering off the ground. That's not. It's still no. That doesn't count. It's just local airplane, space tourism. Not really. Personally, I think we could use to explore the ocean more than we are space. Because space is becoming catastrophic to our own environment. Androids. Do you believe in God? Ah, ma'am, I'm native. <laughs> A creator? Mother Earth? Yes. God as a singular almighty being? No. Would you let an android take care of your children? Chokes on you, I don't have a plan on having kids. Uh, <laughs> if I did, though, and they were like, Kara, yes. How much time per day would you not say you spend on an electronic device? Oh, no, we're not getting into this class. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this game is calling me out. I wish I never took this. I'm getting called out and dragged. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's definitely more than four hours. We've been on stream for almost two. I have <laughs> been on tech pretty much since I got up at like eight o'clock because I manage social media, I have mobile games, then I come on the stream, and then I have to do editing and recording. <laughs> if you needed emergency surgery, uh -huh. would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Uh, yeah probably do better than a human. I mean, again, that's the question of how developed is it? Is it a brand new technology? Is it, like, fully implemented already with, you know, a fucking plethora of all the possible things that could go wrong in your body and that it can absolutely fix? But if it's a fully perfected machine that is, like, all equipped and has been in use for years and all that sort of stuff, uh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, I just- I don't trust people. <laughs> yes. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Honey, have you seen the AI recently? Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. You know what? No, I can't judge the world's answer as 60% saying yes. I can't judge you. I really can't. I legitimately just said they don't even have to fully <laughs> look human. <laughs> I also, but I also understand the 20% that said no. Like I said, I'm dependent on, on the specific android. The, the behavior. I'm, I, I don't particularly care about physicality. I'm more about, like, emotional, like, personality. Even that's dodgy. <laughs> Stefano, <laughs> Ruben, Victoria, <coughs> Albert Wesker. <laughs> For that one, machines today? No, probably not. Machines, androids from this game? Yes, exactly. Like I said, if it's fully implemented and completely developed and has been in use for a good while, yes, absolutely, I would trust it. Right out of the gate? Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you can test that on someone else, thank you. I will trust the human. Oh. Uh. Ooh, yeah, 68% said yes. For, do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? It absolutely can.
Okay. 26% said a cell phone, but like I said, I had the problem with that is it's not guaranteed to have, you know, signal. Um, because it's a deserted island, which means that it, either humanity hasn't touched it for a long time, or they haven't touched it, period. Which means there's no signal towers to give it a signal. Twenty-eight percent said an instrument. I said a console because it could be handheld. It may not last me long, but you know, I know the batteries are and everything. Thinking back on it now, yeah, kind of a bleh answer, but I don't care. My brain straight, went straight to video game replayability, <laughs> handheld consoles. You know, that sort of shit. <laughs> you don't need a TV for a handheld. Plus, let's be real, on trips and stuff, those have saved my life more than a few times. Uh, Save percent an instrument. Yeah, ten percent a console, sixty percent a book. Do you consider? S oh, seventy-four percent said yes. Who is that 16% that said no? Let's just say that there's a reason I apologize to my electronics, you know? <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Uh, 35% said androids and 31 said brain connected devices. What is wrong with you guys? No! Like, one of the. Okay. I think a lot of people don't really think about how it can go wrong, but like we've played the Evil Within too, and the whole thing was that Mobius put chips inside all their um, their operators and stuff, like their agents, and we literally killed the entire organization by just using those chips. <laughs> the reason I said book was because of the lack of electricity. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I didn't think about that. It said abandoned, though. I'm, I'm gonna stress on abandoned, which means there probably was people, and now there isn't. But, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> didn't think about that. I mean, there's simple ways to generate electricity. Probably not enough, but still. I'm just gonna pack a shit ton of batteries in case. Um, 47% said yes. That's very dependent on... Like I said, there's a lot of different ways for God to be an answer. There's the Christianity faith, there's like, you know, Muslim, where it's like... You know, there's a lot of different forms of, of faith that have a God. Mine, that I personally believe in, is not one of them. Like I said, we have a technical, like, creator, but it's not... He's not, per se, like, God, you know? There's a creator, and then there's Mother Nature, and it's it's a soul and everything. It's to do with just how we are as beings. Anyways. Um, 49% said yes to letting an android take care of their children. <laughs> oh, good! 62% said more than four hours. I'm not the only one. Yay! I mean, you're asking this question in a video game. What do you think? <laughs> No one really just plays for an hour. Like how we're almost at two hours. There's at least three different popular religions that have a god as in singular? Exactly. Uh, 70% said yes. You think machines can develop consciousness? 66% yes. Cool. You look very far away. You okay? Chloe, you alright? Why are you looking like there's something behind me? Alright, anyways. Um, thank you so much for joining me for Detroit Become Human. I am going to leave it here. I stream every weekday at 2pm Eastern Standard Time. The full VODs go up on YouTube at 4pm Eastern Standard Time. I hope you all have a good one. I'm glad we could end it on a better note than what would have been. And stay safe.